gadget world for the best technical advice. Hello everyone, I welcome you all to a brand new episode of Gadget World. Today I'm going to introduce to you three devices. Firstly, a camera, an 18x zoom camera that you can keep in your pocket and two smartphones. So stay tuned for all the excitement. I'm going to introduce to you is a camera it is by Canon and it is Canon SX600 now this is actually a budget camera its price would range to about 16,000 rupees and the best feature of this camera is the fact that it has an 18 zoom lens that can actually fit into your pocket it is a very sleek device and it has quick focus easy shot and as well as sharp images Once again, a warm welcome to this brand new episode of Gadget World. So today I have a surprise for you. It is Canon SX600 HS. Now, when you look at this camera, it looks like a normal digital camera. But then um, the most important feature or the most striking feature of this camera is the fact that it has an 18x zoom lens fit into the sleek body. Okay, so this is a 16 megapixel camera and it actually incorporates Canon's unique creative shot mode which has a number of filters for you to edit your pictures right after clicking them. feature of this unique camera is the fact that it has Wi-Fi connectivity which enables you to share photos right after clicking them. Not only that, you can control the camera remotely so you can keep it somewhere, you can zoom and you can even take a picture. you can actually control the shooting and also it has a location logger now another thing about the creative shot mode which is unique to Canon is the fact that it captures five different images in five different filters and crops along with the original image you know at the first place so when you get your photo you have five different options along with the original which is great The camera comes with a Digic 4 Plus image processor which is actually not so new but still a good performer. So the Canon SX600 HS doesn't have a wide maximum aperture, the wide maximum being f3.8. So at the Telephoto maximum, the lens rises to f6.3. The camera comes with a 16 million pixel 12.3 back illuminated CMOS sensor. drawbacks I see in this camera is the fact that you can't take high speed burst mode shots which we all love we go for tours and everything we take jump shots and things like that on the burst mode so that particular mode is not available on this camera which is in a sense a drawback Okay, looking at the 
exteriors of this camera, you can see that it's a very sleek camera. I can actually fit it into my pocket right now. And that's, I think, the best feature of this camera. The other thing is uh, you can see the Wi-Fi uh, what do you say, symbol over here, which indicates that you can use it on Wi-Fi. It has an AV out digital, what do you say, output. Um, jack on the side so like any other typical Canon camera we have the battery slot right here and the battery is chargeable and uh, battery life performance is also pretty good so this is about the exterior I really like the color um, it gives it a very sleek and modern look now the top plate of this camera encloses a pop-up flash which you can see here which is mechanically operated and I forgot to mention about the video capability well it takes full HD videos on this and comes with an 8 GB SD card just look at that that's the maximum extent of the zoom lens and this is how you can actually pop up the flash now there's another variant color variant of this camera which is red so if you're into you know really uh, loud colors there's another red variant of this camera and then of course the full HD video will enable you to take video blogs or if you like uploading videos on YouTube this camera will do It's time for me to summarize the pros and cons of this camera for you. The pros includes the sharp lens, quick focus as well as 18x optical zoom lens. Now coming to the cons or the downsides of this camera, well one of them is definitely the absence of the burst mode and a number of reviewers who actually reviewed this camera say that the images are quite noisy and that is again another fallout of this camera. about this camera and you all are wondering what could be the price of it well, the price is 15,995 rupees which is below 16,000 and makes it a budget camera it's time for gadget world's verdict on canon sx 600 hs for 16,000 rupees to get an 18x optical zoom, well, go grab it. Samsung Galaxy S5, Samsung's flagship phone. Now if you ask me what is distinct about S5 in comparison with S4, I'd say that it has improved on all grounds. of Samsung's flagship phone which is Samsung Galaxy S5 is out and we have it right here for you so stay tuned Galaxy 
S5 can be defined in one word, that is evolution. It has evolved a long way from the Samsung Galaxy S4. Now we have it in four different colors, which is white, black, blue and golden, as you can see right here. Starting from the exteriors, well the phone has improved a lot as far as exteriors are concerned. A lot of people like the design and some of them don't really like it. And uh, talking about it, it has a, a leathery feel at the back and a steel like a rim around it. The most striking feature of this phone is undoubtedly its display. It has a 1080 into 1920 pixel resolution screen which is 5.1 inches. This display of S5 has been protected with Corning Gorilla Glass 3.0. So the new Samsung Galaxy S5 comes in two versions, one is 16 GB and the other one is 32 GB internal storage and it, it comes with 2 GB RAM as well as its internal memory is expandable up to 128 GB with a micro SD card. cameras the primary camera which is the back camera and the secondary camera which is the front camera now the primary camera is 16 megapixels of resolution and the secondary camera which is the front camera comes with 2 megapixels and it enables dual video calling all reviewers have been raving about the camera quality of Samsung Galaxy S5. Well, it comes with certain features like geotagging as well as dual shot and simultaneous video and image recording. S5 comes with two quad-core processors which effectively makes it an octa-core processor. As anyone would expect, the operating system is Android V 4.4.2 KitKat version, which is the latest Android version. Another feature that struck me is the fact that this phone is very light, it's just 145 grams in weight and I find it very handy and easy to handle. I don't even think we need to go for the, um, the mini version of this because this itself is pretty small and handy. I'm about to summarize the pros and cons of this phone for you. The pros would, I would say, uh, the biggest positive of the phone is its display. Its display is marvelous, just mind-blowing. And among the negatives are the fact that there's nothing groundbreaking or revolutionary in this phone. This phone is just an improvement of its previous version. Just as all the specifications are high-end, so is the price of this phone. This phone comes up to 49,900 rupees. The gadget world verdict on Samsung Galaxy S5. Well, the introduction itself is a verdict. There's nothing revolutionary in this phone, but this phone represents evolution. So go for it if you're looking for a lifestyle statement.
device I have here for you is Sony Xperia T2 Ultra. Now this device comes in the phablet division and I should tell you that it's a huge device. I'll be showing it to you later in the show and it is it has a six inch display and what what is interesting is that even though it's huge it is actually thin and light. segment we have the Sony Xperia T2 Ultra. Talking about the exteriors, the phone is fully plastic with the side rims trying to imitate metal with limited success. The back cover of this phone is not removable implying that the battery is fixed and uh, we cannot remove the battery as well. So another feature of this phone is the fact that it comes in two versions. One is the single SIM version and the other one is the dual SIM version. The 6 inch screen comes with a 720p resolution which could be a disappointment to some. This phone comes with an 8 GB internal memory capacity, 1 GB RAM and the memory can actually be expanded up to 32 GB. Talking about the processor details, it, it is a quad core processor that is 1 GHz Snapdragon 400 quad core processor. The phablet comes with both primary and secondary cameras, there is a front camera and the back camera. The back camera is a huge 13 MP camera while the front camera is a 1.1 megapixel camera which is pretty comfortable for you to take your selfies. Okay, so the camera comes with an LED flash and a number of features including geotagging, image stabilization, face detection and wide sweep panorama. At 172 grams, this huge phablet is actually light as well as thin, which is great. I forgot to mention to you about the operating system. Well, it is Android Jelly Bean V4.3 system and they are planning to upgrade it to um, the 4.2.2 version. Sony Xperia T2 Ultra phablet comes with micro SIM slots. About the sound specifications, it has a pretty good loudspeaker system as well as a 3.5 mm jack for your headsets. Time for me to summarize the pros and cons of this phone. Well, the pros definitely include the fact that it has a 6 inch display and it is light which is 172 grams as well as thin so it's a sleek phone. Another pro would definitely be the fact that it is a quad core processor which is a snapdragon 400 1.4 GHz quad core processor. Talking about the downsides of this phablet, now there are three major points I'd like to highlight. Firstly, the fact that the 6 inch display resolution is just 720p. Another thing is the operating system is not the latest version. Third major point I'd like to highlight is the fact that the screen is highly reflective and in bright light it is very difficult to see the screen except in certain angles. of this huge phablet would be 25,995 rupees. Time for the final verdict on the Sony Xperia T2 Ultra phablet. Well, this is definitely a pretty good buy at this price.
wind up this episode of Gadget World. I hope you all enjoyed all the three devices we shared with, here with you. Next week, we'll be back with three more brand new devices. So do tune in to Gadget World.